Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching my creations. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I don't know what I would do without you. Um, that's why I have this channel is because of all my subscribers and people that like to watch art, family and friends, co-workers. Um, just welcome you. Tonight, um, my husband's sister, my sister, another sister-in-law, <laughs> she is a little under the weather. She has some issues going on, so she's seeing a specialist, and I won't go into all that. But I wanted to do a uh, chain pool and do like a flower uh, on a white background for her because... Um, she likes flowers and she likes purples and I thought I will do one on a white background with a few different uh, shades of purple and some pink and, and some green even so um, I'll show you what I'm going to be using and then we can start by flooding the canvas I'm working on a 16 by 20 so I had to actually go down to the hardware store and get bigger chains <laughs> or I should say longer chains Good, you can see them. I uh, wasn't sure if that was in the picture or in the frame or not. I'm going to use the white background I'm going to use as a white by Artist Loft Soft Body. I'll start with that and I'll get that done as quick as I can. And then I'm going to start with uh, Violet Essentials by Royal and Langnickel. That is the Walmart tube paint. paint. Then I'm going to use ultramarine violet by amsterdam it's a real pretty purple then i'm going to use lavender purple by arteza a soft purple then i will be using this medium magenta uh, by liquitex yeah liquitex then I will be using this turquoise green and titanium white. I just kind of muted it down a little bit to make it a soft green. Um, and that is by Amsterdam. Both colors are by Amsterdam. And then, last but not least, I'm using Emerald by Deco Art. I'm going to try to have the darker green down lower. So I'll put it lower. Um, these chains are so long, they're almost coming off the table. <laughs> I, th I thought maybe I should lay him like oblong or something, but I want to go ahead and put down the base and get started as soon as we can here. A real treat for you tonight. I love doing these chain pulls. To me, it's almost like therapy. I just love doing them. They're fun relaxing put some music on and just relax and have a good time with me grab some chips <laughs> i try not to let my videos run over 30 minutes but sometimes they do and these take a little longer because they're uh, chain pools so you have to get all the chains you know measured out which i already did that and then you have to put your paint down and i used a piece of bubble wrap that some things got uh, came in the mail to us and I used the bubble wrap from that it's like a large bubble wrap uh, so we'll get this and then I'll get my sides real quick this can be quite messy sometimes Always want to get your sides done. Try not to get too much on this plastic over here. Um, yeah, I really like, I really like my sister-in-law. She's, I like all of my family. There's no, no one 
family member that I do not get along with or do not care for. They're all really good. God bless me with some good family members. So I kind of wanted to do something to cheer her up. I thought about going and buying her a plant or something, you know. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this. I have never given her a picture. So I just was asking her what her, well, my husband asked her what her favorite colors were. And she said she really likes everything, but she really likes purple and white. So I thought, that's that'll be cool. I'll just do that, you know. So make sure I got the corners, and then we'll get started on laying down the laying down the paint or laying down the chains. I like I said I had to go to the hardware store. I got <laughs> like a couple 36 inch chains because Usually you do these on smaller canvases, but no, not me. Get the big canvas out and do it on as big as I can. Canvas. I hope you're all doing good. It's uh, been really nice here in Ohio. Almost perfect weather, which is nice. Um, for September, it's really beautiful out perfect not hot not cold just perfect so i hope it doesn't change i will be i'm gonna try to put on uh this i'm putting this video up and i'm gonna try to put on uh one more video before i leave because we are going to florida uh, my daughter and i so i wanted to put a couple videos up before we head out And we're heading out Monday, so a week from yesterday. So, like I said, I've got a couple more ideas, a couple more things I wanted to make before I leave. So I'm hoping to have uh, at least, like I said, two more videos. And then I'll be gone for, I don't know, two and a half weeks. So I will not be putting any videos up. Unless I give you a sneak peek, a sneak peek <laughs> of the beach. That's hard to say. <laughs> the sneak peek at the beach. All right, there's that. Now I'm going to start with this dark purple. Put this down. I think that's good, actually. And then a little lighter. I have some skinnier chains, too, that I have off here to the side that are pretty long. These are kind of short for it, unless I put, you know, small ones. But... I wanted to use, you know, be able to curl them up here and pull them down. Not to get rid of those bubbles, too. I think before I start. Uh, a little bit more, maybe. Then our pink, that's our lavender purple. And this is medium magenta. I thought about using a darker magenta, uh, but I, I think this is going to go good. There. And then our light green and dark. And I'll have plenty of paint left if I need to use these skinnier chains, which I already have one in there. <laughs> I can use them. 
And then I'll put this emerald green, the dark green, at the bottom. So, I haven't used this paint in a while. I have like a whole little basket of metallic paints. And, um, yeah, I haven't used them in a while. Okay, there are those then. Now I'll use my little stick here. This right here, a little skewer. Um, they're like bamboo skewers. You can get them uh, at the dollar store sometimes, or you could get them on Amazon. That's what I think I've got these on Amazon. Just want to make sure the chains are saturated. And then we get this. Like I said, some of these are really, really long. And the pink. It's amazing what you can use a skewer for. <laughs> I actually use the tips of these to unclog some of these bottles sometime if they need it. Alright, some green. Oh, it's going off onto the floor. I do have plastic down, but still, I don't want it to go on the floor. Okay. I think we're about ready to lay our killers down. I see some bubbles, though, in the paint. Come on, get in there. All right. Okay, let me bust some bubbles. Actually, there's something in that paint. I thought it was a bubble, and it's not. It's just sitting there. So I thought I better get that out. Not sure what that was. Piece of something. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Now I had to bunch those up, so I'm not sure which one was the longest one. I had one that was really super long. Might have been this one. All right, here we go. If I can get it up off the... All righty. And that is a long one, folks. <laughs> Try to put it right there. Nice. These might just look really nice, I hope. All right, the next one. Kind of want to get the one right next to it. I think it was the next longest one. They're so long, and my arms are so short. <laughs> I was trying to, like, pick it up and take it clear up to the ceiling, you know. Mm 
Let me get the skewer. This one's shorter, so I'm going to have to pull it from there, which that's fine. All right, next. Where is my super long one? This one maybe? This one? This one. Yeah, this one. Put it here. Nice. <laughs> All right, now I'm trying to put another one there and then some small ones, maybe. I think this one's actually longer. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And now, take this one. Scooch it over. I'll put some small ones in there. You can also do this with string. I like the chain effect better. I just like the marks that it leaves. And this is a, I forgot to tell you guys, a gallery wrapped canvas. It's a really nice canvas. I think I got it from Michaels. Or no, I got this one from Hobby Lobby. All right, here we go. Let's put a couple little ones in there. Look at that. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You think I should put another one in there? Because this is the time to do it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I think we might be pretty good. I thought about putting something here, but 
Or even here, I don't want to put anything there. Maybe put something in here. Oh, let's try this. There's hardly any room there, but I'm gonna try. Hopefully, don't screw it up. <laughs> yep, there was a drip of something, and another drip of something. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready if you guys are to get this over here. And I have a a jar of dishwater. It's got dish soap in it, Dawn, and hot water. So you can just put the chains in there when I pull them out. I don't see any more globs or bubbles. Everything looks okay. There's just a few drips, which I think will disappear. Okay. Let's see here. Now we got to bring this one down. To here. Oh, I like it. Uh, that was a mess, people. That's <laughs> just too long. Too long. Too stinking long. Plus, now look, the green's clear up there. I may have to put another one up there and try to bring that down a little bit. Let's see here. What can we do? Get me. That's not too bad looking. Really, look at a couple little cells. <laughs> this is really messy, but I like it. I may put something down there, maybe even. I don't know. I might do might do this again. We'll see. Watch out, puppy. You might get some paint on you in here. All right, I think I'm going to put some skinny ones up. What do you think? Put 
Yeah, I don't know. I like it. Hi, baby. I like it, but I wonder if I put something there and drag it down, I can mess this up. Oh, I wish you guys could talk to me. This, too. This was kind of... I just feel like it needs more. Let's do... Um, let's put these three in. Do this instead of there. We'll figure something out. Just I want to. I want like to have it a little fuller, and I could use some shorter ones down here too if I wanted to. All right. I love that dark purple. That's beautiful. I can't believe it's a inexpensive paint. Yeah, it's a Walmart paint. That's where you get it. Well, you can get it on. I think you can get it on Amazon too. But that that uh, violet. Yeah, I think we'll make some short ones down here. And I'm going to take my brush around the edges and get these edges really good. All right, let's sit here. Well, I kind of want to do something here, maybe. Something here, and maybe even like here on the corner. Let's see here. Well, those three are kind of close. These two are close. I think I'm going to do another one here. And maybe another one right there. Let's, let's just play around and see. Pretty long. Oh, I've got another one in there, too. Okay. Let's do this. And then I kind of want to do something to get rid of that. So let's do it. I want this to turn out right. Oh, I can't believe that happened. Ugh, people. Well, we're going to have to take that off of there. That's for sure. So I think what I'm going to do is... How about that?
I'll put some more white on there. Oh yeah. Something like that. These paints are fairly thick. I uh, I always mix my paints with three parts U.S. Floetrol and one part Liquitex gloss pouring medium, and I put a uh, little squirt of GAC 800 in every two in every bottle. And then one part paint. All right. Well, let's just see what happens. Maybe it'll turn out okay. If not, we have more. <laughs> okay. Need a longer table. I guess I should have set it up that way and pulled it this way. That way I had plenty of room down here. All right. Let's do this one first. I like it. <laughs> Making a mess, people. <laughs> you have to be so careful about drips and stuff. Now I'm going to have to put something in there and take care of that. Let's take this one up. You see that what I just did? Uh. Wow, that turned out weird up there, didn't it? And I got more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to do one more up there. And I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to make this look good. I'm trying to get a Dutch pour done because I I have something in mind that I want to do. And then also there's a swipe that I've been wanting to try. So we're going to do that too. I think I'm going to try to redo that, recreate that somehow, some way. Without dripping it on it. Thank you. 
try it again. Whoa. I thought about doing some one here and one there too. Let's do it. We got plenty of paint. And I don't want to waste it. So we're going to do this. I want to just recreate something like that up here. I could just turn it maybe a little bit like, you know what? I think I'm going to do this. There we go. Not as pretty as that one, this one or that one, but it's it's got the marks there. All right, I'm gonna try one here and one here. And then I promise you, and that, that kind of turned out to be a flop to me. I, when I do something for somebody, I always want it to look perfect. Now we're going to try something here, people. Is more better sometimes? You can watch me make mistakes and learn from them, and then you don't have to make those mistakes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I apologize because when I when I go on vacation, I will not be putting you know a video up. Like I said, unless it's of the ocean, <laughs> I might do. You never know me, but I'm spending time with family, sometimes my kid, my cousin, cousins, but never been to Key West, so I wanted to go. All right, I'm going to try something here. And then here. All right. I wonder if I should take a brush maybe and try something. No, I have an idea. I'll have to fix that again. I don't know what it what is it with me and green on that side of the table, but we're not getting along tonight. All right, here we go, people. Thank you. 
I like it. And I'm going to clean that up with white with a brush. Well, I think I'm done making a mess. I'm going to get a brush. Clean that white up. I'm going to try to do it without cracking into the stand. And knocking too many pots over. Alright. Alright. So do white. And somebody just pulled into my yard. I'm going to go along all the edges. Sometimes I feel like I never have an exactly perfect painting. Really? <laughs> Crap. Really? Really, really, really? <sighs> Gonna fix it. You have to learn how to fix your paintings. Okay. Something is going on, people, and I don't know what it is. We're going to try this. Like there was green underneath. I made a gigantic mess. So you guys don't have to, see? You could sit back, drink a Pepsi, and not worry about the mess. I guess that's underneath. Now we'll pour, pour some white on there. I don't want to scrape. Get another brush. I have plenty. I have a plethora of brushes. I need to pop some bubbles too. Yeah, I think there's green under that where it was drug. I'm going to have to get another chain. I'll do a little short one right here. That's what I'll do. I apologize. This has taken me so long. This is in real time, so... All right.
No, all right, I better put another glove on. I'm starting to make a mess. And I gotta get this one off too. Look at that. <laughs> All right. I will pull this one off, and then I think I'm going to stop because I think I want to have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like 14 chains. There. That'll mess. Uh, that'll fix that right up. Nice. Some of these chains are stiffer than the others, but I'm going to go around and get my sides. I need a little drippies. And when this is done, I may go around the sides and paint it white. We'll see if it needs it. And I'll bring you guys down for a close-up. You can see what I'm looking at instead of looking at it from that perspective. Always try to get my edges really good and any drips. And I still have paint. But I may just put that in a cup and use it as a flow extender. You can always, you can always use your leftover paints. Good. All right. I think I'm going to stop there, people. <laughs> no more. Let's see. Let's put some black on there and some fluorescent green and get it all mixed up. All right. I'm going to bring the camera down. There's a couple little, I don't know what those are. I don't think they're cells. Let me torch it real quick because I do see a couple little air bubbles. Not very many. This right here is going to just have to... I thought about taking some green. Like taking one of these and just... I might do that. Roll it back and forth with green. That's an idea. I may do that to try to fix this. I did use... Or I did... Yeah, I did use metallic, but it was the green. A lot of bubbles. Probably because I shook them. But I will bring you down for a close-up. I actually am beginning to really like this. All right. And this is probably ran over. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's ran over. I apologize. But look at that. Do you think that's good enough to give my sister-in-law? I have a feeling it is. I'm going to fix the bottom of it up, I think, with a little bit of green, but I won't bore you with that. Thank you again for watching me. Subscribe and you'll learn from my mistakes. <laughs> you guys have a pleasant evening. Thanks again for joining me and watching me. And as always, God bless you.